Yo, what's going on everybody? This is gonna be my full in-depth tutorial on how to get the honeycomb icons right here that you see on my desktop. I've gotten a good amount of requests on how to actually get these, so I'm making a full-length tutorial and I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step on how you can get these on your PC. All right, so to get these, it's actually fairly simple. The first thing you wanna do is go to Google and type in rain meter, and it's gonna be the first one, rainmeter.net. That's where we're gonna get it from. Do not download it from anywhere else, rainmeter.net. And just so you know, I'm going to have all these links down in the description so you can follow along while I'm doing this. All right, so once you're here, you're going to have two options, one being the beta release and the other being the final release. I personally went with the beta release just because you get early access to all the new features and the honeycomb theme works with both versions. So you're going to want to go over here and download Rain Meter. It should start downloading right away and it'll only take about a second. Come down here. You're going to want to open the program, do the typical install stuff, fast forward through all this, hit yes. And once it's done installing, make sure you hit run rain meter and hit finish. So once the program opens up, it should look something like this. But right now we don't have the honeycomb theme installed yet. So we can get rid of this for now. You want to go over back to Google and type in honeycomb theme rain meter. And like I said, the links for this will be in the description. So you can actually skip all the Googling and just go right to the link. And once you're at this page, you want to scroll down just a little bit past these pictures and hit download honeycomb. And then once this little pop-up is here, you want to hit install. I'm actually not going to install it because it's right here. It's going to back up and replace all of my files, all my custom images that I have. So I'm not going to go ahead and do that, but you can go and hit install. All right. So once you have honeycomb installed, you want to head back down here to the rain meter program. And in the bottom left, hit refresh all. And if the file honeycomb doesn't show up here, you can actually go ahead and close this out. And in the bottom right, in this little arrow, the rain meter logo should be right here. If not, you can always do the classic, just search in the bottom left and it'll come right up. Next up for the very last and final part, which you've all been waiting for, is how to put the icons on your desktop. It's fairly simple. You just open up the honeycomb folder. There's a lot of default programs actually built in here. I've only added probably about five of these. So it actually does come with a good amount and it comes with a lot of the main ones. It comes with Bitdefender, BitTorrent, there's uh, Borderlands, like CSGO. There's a lot of good main programs in here. But what you want to do next is scroll down, hit the program that you want. Let's say if I want, let's do Skype. Open up Skype, hit this little arrow. This little thing will come down. All you would do, double click it and it'll show up right here on your desktop. So if you want to actually build a little honeycomb style theme here, you just open up another one and they'll actually snap into place when you put them next to each other. As you can see here, it snaps in place, aligns itself with the other one, and you can put it where you want to. So that's it. It's pretty simple. Uh, a lot of people thought this was going to be very complicated to do, but it's pretty much a program and a theme for the program. And all you do is select the logos that you want. If you want me to make a part two to this, I'll actually show you how to make custom icons like I did here with Among Us. Streamlabs, I made the Steam one, I made the Discord one, and I made custom folder icons. One for my Twitch and one for my TikTok videos. And if you want me to make a part two to this where I show you how to make these custom icons yourself for any program you want, make sure you subscribe and let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to drop that probably sometime this week. I also forgot to mention that I'll throw in a custom template for you guys to use. All you need is really Photoshop or any kind of photo editing software that you'd like to use. And if you did come over from TikTok, I thank you and I appreciate it so much. So yeah, that's it. I plan on posting at least a video or two a week, so make sure you turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of that. I'll be making a lot of variety stuff, tutorials, gameplay, all that kind of stuff, so stay tuned. See you in the next one.